But really, wh what did you mean when you said that didn't take long? Back to mom? Oh, just that she is really pushy sometimes. I mean, most people do not go knocking down someone's door at the break of dawn. But my mom, yeah, she's not exactly too patient, you know? Oh, okay. Got it. Well, let's get you to school. But, Katie, I wouldn't leave my dad alone with my mom for too long. If you know oh, I mean. if you're trying to make me jealous, it's not going to work. I know my mom, but if you're not worried... No, then... I'm not worried. Not at all. Okay, I'll get my books. But I'm hungry. I'm suddenly very hungry. So, my parents shipped me off to my Aunt Rosalie's house until after the baby was born. They wanted me to give her up for adoption, but there was no way I was going to do that. Why not? Are you saying I should have? I'm just asking why you didn't. Well, looking back, I guess. I didn't go to college. I wasn't able to give Libby everything she needed. I never had any money. I guess maybe the smart thing would have been to give her up. But after I saw her, and I held her. She must have been a beautiful baby. I'll show you some pictures sometime. Now, all this time, I mean, I just, I just figured that you moved, got married, had kids, you know? Pretty girl like you. No, I never got married. How could I? And I never loved anyone after you. Katie! I am so glad you're here. How's it going, kiddo? Pretty good, Dad. Wow. Look at those amazing clothes. <laughs> I hope you thanked your father for being so generous. Oh, actually, Katie got them for me. Oh, is that right? Well, you're such a good little stepmom. I try. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah. Could I have a milkshake and some waffles, please? Um, coffee, please. I thought you said you were hungry. Yeah. Libby, don't be rude. Brad and Katie are TV stars. They are on TV. They can't eat everything that's not nailed down like we can. Oh. <laughs> So, what have you two been talking about? Old times, mostly. And what have you been up to, Janet? Nothing but the rent. Hmm. It's been a long time since you and Brad were together. What, what made you decide to look him up? Well, Libby always knew who her father was, of course. You know, we don't have any secrets from each other. And so when the time was right and she was ready to meet him, I just, uh, you know, came along for the ride. Come on, Mom. That's not how that happened. Oh, you guys don't want to hear the boring details. The important thing is, Libby is here, and she's getting to know her father. Well, I'm real curious how that happened. Aren't you, honey? I sure am, <laughs> Well, Mom and I were watching TV, and um, I started, like, channel surfing, which really drives her completely crazy, and I landed on your wedding. And when that happened, you should have seen her. She just about, like, flat I didn't flat. <laughs> No, I was just really surprised. I was surprised to see you so out of the blue, Bradley. And... You always knew who your father was. What? I never... Okay, maybe I knew his name, but, like, it wasn't exactly until the moment that you started screaming, like, I can't believe that Hunk is your dad, that so, I knew you were my father. That must have been a shock. Yeah. Well, you know what was shocking? Was seeing all those good-looking men at your wedding. Weren't some of them your ex-husbands, Katie? Well, look at the time. We've got to get going to work, and we have to yeah. deliver oh, yeah. to school. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping we'd have more time to talk. Well, why don't you stop by the studio, and I'll give you a tour. <gasps> Kay, uh, Katie and I both can give you a tour, and we'll talk some more. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yay, okay. Well, why don't you guys go to work? And I'll make sure that Liberty gets to school, okay? Awesome. All right, we'll see you there. I think that went well. What? What? Because we are married. 
and in love, right? What if I don't feel like loving you today? What if I feel like slugging you? Oh, that's a good idea. I could punch Brad or kick him or slap him or something. That would be better, right? Uh, I'll check with Kim. I'll get back to you. Why are you so mad at me? I'm mad at you because you have to ask me why I'm mad. Well, since you already want to punch, slap, kick me, slug me, whatever, I'll risk making you matter. What did I do? How can you be so nice to that woman? Come on, Brad. Jenna shows up after 16 years and suddenly decides to tell you about this daughter that she never bothered to tell you about before. What does that tell you? That she didn't know where it was until then. Oh, it's not like you're in the witness protection program. She never even tried to tell you before. But now she sees you and knows that you're this minor celebrity. Minor celebrity? She wants you, Brad. Oh, yes, Red. What do you think, Lip? Aren't you supposed to be, like, taking me to school hey. or something? Honey, this is more important. I need to find something to wear to the TV studio. Now, okay, we've got Red and we have, ooh, coconuts. Ew, neither. <sighs> so what are we doing about school? I don't know. Uh, write your note or something. <sighs> you rock, Mom. Mm -hmm. So, how long are you planning on staying? It depends. Oh, oh. sweet mama. Oh. What do you think of this? Make them beg for a dress? What? Where did you hear that? You told me that when you had that crush for that slamming hot truck driver and he really liked that toll collector. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That, it doesn't matter. I like this dress and I'm wearing it. Mm. You're jealous. You're no, jealous. I am not jealous. There's a fine line between being jealous and knowing what someone's up to. Janet is not after me. She is just here for liberty. Why are you lying? You always know when someone's into you, and she's into you. Okay, I'll admit that there's a possibility. Maybe she never got over me, and that's happened a lot to me in the past. But okay, well, come on. But, so what? Whatever's going on in Janet's mind is strictly mental. I'm not interested. The only thing I want to do is I want to get to know my kid, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. All right, come on, let's take these promos. Come on. Okay, but I'm still not see you. Look at me. Look at me, come on. Janet is not a threat. No woman is a threat. Why is simple? I love you. You and only you. have to chop the onions. Isn't she beautiful when she cries, people? <laughs> Just keep dredging that veal, Brad. Veal. The other white meat. That's pork. Pork. The other white meat. Yeah. Uh, Eddie. Eddie, what's the matter with you? You're supposed to be focused on the on the stove. Sorry, boss. Wait a minute. Who the heck are you? Listen, this is a close. Wait, 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 wait. Kim, it's okay. She's with me. Is it Kim? Janet? Janet is an old friend of mine. Friend? Oh, honey, I'm way more than that. You know, those history textbooks are totally biased. So what? I still have to read it or I fail. I took you for more than a sheep, but I might have to rethink that now. Didn't see you at school today. No excuse to use this time. Mm. I got a totally legit note from my mom. I'm officially under the weather, which I actually kind of was before, until, you will not believe it, she gave me a huge wad of cash just to make the sun shine. You want to go spend it with me? 